Hi everybody, my nickname is Dr. Bass from Canada and today I would like to bring your attention on this popular micro-inverter used in the uh, solar project. So today I'd like to show you uh, something that I've tried that I will actually uh, demonstrate to you um, on how to use these or to be able to use these micro-inverter but to be powered by a battery instead of a solar panel. So, you know, solar panel produce DC voltage and current, and battery can also do. So, can a microinverter do the same thing? And even more, can more parallel microinverter be connected all together in parallel and be used as a single big uh, microinverter on the condition that it used with uh, DC current from a battery? So, let me show you. The actual setup. Okay, so today I will demonstrate uh, to you uh, that it actually works and that you can get these uh, microinverter at a pretty good price. So I've built for testing only um, this uh, panel with eight of the N phase microinverter, which is uh, the M190, which is producing. Uh, 190 uh, watt of power and the actual range of these is uh, the uh, MPPT in fact is from 22 volt to 40 volt okay so you see 40 volt 22 but that's not their um, range uh, their uh, limited range uh, you know their uh, maximum range is actually from 22 volts to 54 volt and that's what is interesting because if you want to use that with a 48 volt battery it means that it can work if you keep your battery below 54 volt. So I will uh, show you uh, the setup that I have here. Since um, we're not allowed to uh, use these micro uh, inverter if you don't have uh, any permit with the uh, country where you are at. Uh, actually, uh, I don't have the permit, so I'm not allowed to connect that directly to the grid. So what I will do is that I will produce my own grid using a UPS that is powered by battery. So everything here is totally independent from the grid okay i could be far in the forest in the chalet uh powering that i will not be associated with any uh kind of uh grid or uh power uh power plant so here's the power plant that i mean that is actually a uh apc uh ups uh, that is uh 4000 watts 5000 uh volt ampere va and the, uh, this is not very efficient, but I'm using it uh, for um, emergency situation to power independent things, not connected on the grid. So this one is actually 80% at 50% uh, power draw uh, between the 48 volt supply and the uh, output. Okay, so this one is actually drawing 337 watt in standby mode. Okay. So let me show you the setup. This is the input voltage from the 48 volt. I have actually a battery bank here, which is uh, tender sky cells um, all connected together uh, for 48 volt source here. That's my uh, DC source that goes all the way there and that connect to this uh, UPS. Okay, that UPS is actually power uh, outputting uh, 208 volt which is not very uh, useful uh, in uh, residential uh, uh, instead of uh, industry because, you know, uh, well, the, there's no split phase, uh, so uh, no uh, 120 volt, no 240. So what I have did is I built this transformer, which is converting the 208 volt to uh, 120 to uh, 240. So it's actually split phase. And I have this panel here to monitor everything. So that's line one and line two with the circuit breaker. So we'll be able to see uh, line one and line two uh, power produced. And also this is the circuit breaker for the 208 volt input and the actual the amp uh, uh, draw by the transformer from uh, this inverter. Okay. 
And now uh, to show you that demonstration, I have some load, which is a heater, ceramic heater, a glue gun and a solder iron. So what I will do now is that I will power that UPS and you will to see everything working. So I will power it with the switch here and I will press again until it make a beep and then it will be power. All right, okay, sorry for the blower. It's actually a very big blower for uh, so I will try to speak louder. So you see there is no power draw here. Zero, uh, zero amp uh, or maybe nearly zero. Zero watt, zero watt, zero here. And it's draining six, about seven amp from the 48 volt. Okay, so that's the send by power. And on one of the line or phase, I'm 133. So the output from uh, this split phase transformer goes to this electrical panel where I've connected this outlet where the load, the AC load will be connected. And also the microinverter input, which is a dual fa uh, single phase uh, two lines. So a pole one and pole two, line one and line two here. And it's connected through this cable here. So on all these microinverter, those are all connected in parallel. So the DC input is connected in parallel as well as all the AC uh, output. Okay, this is output and input because in some way these uh, need to detect uh, the presence of the grid to work, which is this grid, which is an artificial, artificial grid, if I can say, because it's my own UPS. What I uh, want to uh, specify to you guys is that it's very important that your UPS is under load and with a load that is at least equal or above what your uh, microinverter will produce. Because otherwise, what it will do is that your microinverter will try to push some AC current to your uh, UPS, which have absolutely no load. So what will happen is that those microinverter, the way they work is that they will sense the voltage of the grid, which is in case this UPS, and they will try to push a voltage just a little bit more, just a little bit higher than what they see. So the current will, throw, uh, will flow back uh, to the output and to the uh, UPS. Uh, well, to the transformer and to the UPS. And you don't want to have your uh, UPS seeing power uh, on the other direction because otherwise you might blow all the MOSFET inside and you don't want to have that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so that's why I've balanced that load with this heater and those, uh, those things here. So I have all these connected here. I will connect that, I will show you the power here. Okay, so. You know, see, that's about 200 watt from the solder I run and the glue gun. You see on that face here. And if I connect that one to the maximum power, the ceramic heater, I have a total of about uh, 1500 watt drain from those three loads here. So that's actually this one that is supplying those three loads you see the amp on the 208 which is about uh, I will say 7 amp something like that a little bit less and there's no power produced by these actually because these are not connected on the AC so I what I will do is that I will connect those to the DC uh, the, the DC battery this is actually a 48 volt independent battery uh, 48 volt 50 amp power battery that will power all these end phase. So this is totally independent and what you will see I expect is that you will see the power drain from This UPS goes to zero because the power will be produced by those microinverter to this electrical box to these three load here Okay, so by the way, I have to specify that there's presence of 120 volt and 240 volt, which is a lethal voltage. So pay attention if you try some experimentation with that. And uh, don't uh, forget to add grounds and uh, make everything safe. Okay, so 
you see here there's no current drain from the battery what I will do is that I will connect with uh, I have a, a pre-charge resistor because I don't want to have a spark when I connect um, the uh, input which normally connect to the solar panel but will connect to the battery solar panel have current limiting battery doesn't <laughs> so I will connect this one here well first I will connect well it will be faster I will connect the AC so right now the AC from the UPS is tied to these grid tie micro inverter but there's nothing yet because there's no solar or battery power so now I will connect this uh, resistance okay wait a minute um, you guys need uh, all the concentration well okay I can connect directly so you will be able to see everything all right I will make a pause connect everything and goes back to you okay okay so right now the DC power is connected to the micro inverter here okay and you see all these grand LEDs that will flash five times indicating that it's okay and then they will flash orange indicating that it's okay but there's no internet connection to these and then you will see 36 amp drain from these micro inverter and 0 m from the UPS so right now what it means is that all the power to power all these three loads is coming directly from these micro inverter and it's working you see I have 1553 watt of power between this DC battery here you see 1600 uh, so the efficiency of these is about normally 95% uh, which is very interesting 95% between the DC and the AC that's a very nice conversion because the voltage is above the MPPT region and what you don't want is to have all these micro inverter fighting each other because they try to adjust their ratio between current and voltage which is the equivalent resistance that the, norm the solar panel have normally and uh, normally if you're in the MPPT voltage region which means below 40 volt the problem will be that the MPPT will work and they will all try to fight each other, each other and adjust uh, to uh, match the uh, equivalent, equiv equivalent resistance and you don't want that so you have to work above the uh, MPPT region so that's actually working 35 amp and you see zero amp drain from the uh, UPS and you will see here the um, the current 2.7 amp at 48 volt which mean that there's barely a DC current to power the blower and everything so it's what telling what it is telling to you today guys is that micro inverter powered by battery can work uh, if you're operating these within the uh, uh, not within but outside the MPPT region in this case this is between uh, above 48 volt uh, between 40 to uh, 54 volt and that's actually working so yeah draining 35 amp 46 volt directly into the solar pa uh, 8 solar panel input going to the AC output right here through this electrical box through these loads and if I shut down the UPS the micro inverter will not see any AC presence and they will shut down to prevent uh, having uh, power going back to the grid while electricians are in the uh, working on the breaker and these things so that's for safety purpose so guys I appreciate uh, I, I hope you appreciated this video and uh, just remind that this is not connected on the grid this is actually powered by a UPS so everything here is independent from the grid totally powered by a battery uh, to the UPS to
to a battery to microinverter. So I hope you appreciate it and uh, see you for the next video. Bye bye.